What's up, you guys? And welcome back to another episode of yep. Your Favorite hey, Auntie's Podcast. Oh, Before we get started. What? Happy holidays. Oh, happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was great. That was actually really good. I like that. Okay. No, but uh, I know that it's the season of cheer, mm-hmm. and I love, love, love the holidays, so definitely could not skip over that. Yeah. I hope everybody's having a good time celebrating, and if you're not, we still love you. Yeah. Um, we know everybody doesn't exactly have, like, that holiday cheer. hmm So if you're a Grinch, still love you. <laughs> me. Yes. Not me anymore. Ish, kind of. (laughs) (laughs) But happy holidays nonetheless. Right, 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 right. What are we going to get into today? Well, unfortunately or fortunately, Mm -hmm. today is the last episode of season three. (sighs) All good things must come to an end. Except us. And it's not ending. Right. TT just need a break. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> I know y'all don't understand that. <laughs> TT got a life. TT got to have life too. <laughs> you got to put me first. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to take a, a very small break. Uh-huh. But during the break, we are still working on things, getting mm-hmm. stuff prepared. Because 2024 yes. is going to be a huge yeah. year. Yeah. And we have to take the time to plan those things. We want to yeah. meet y'all. We want to have fun things going on. We yeah. want to expand yes. and not just be on YouTube or Apple or Spotify, but have opportunities where y'all can come see us and yes. we can meet you and we can hug and we can say hi and, and really get to know each other better. So we right. want to have the time to do this. In order to do that, yeah. we do have to take a break. And so we want to do that. Yeah. You know what? Um, I know we normally don't have um, guests on the show. But I just had to bring this <laughs> just in case because I feel really emotional oh, right now. Yeah. Because we, we are filming the last episode of season three. An amazing season. Amazing. Yeah. So many goals. Let me put this down. Okay. Uh, so many goals were met. Exceeded. Ex- <laughs> yeah. Exceeded. Uh, our minds were opened. Um, so many things to be thankful for. So many yes. things to appreciate. This this year has been something. It has. To say the least. It has. And I know that us going through these life lessons, us talking about um, the year and just different things that we know, I know it's gonna it's gonna be a lot. Yeah. Or maybe maybe it won't. I don't know. I mean, I feel like everything that we can look back on from 2023, yeah. from season three, even even going back to season two, season two just really took off for us. Right, right. I mean, halfway through season two, we were growing <clears throat> followers by the thousand. Yeah. Not the tens or the hundreds. Yeah. Thousands yeah. by day, yeah. by week. And so 2023 has been an amazing year. Yes, it has. I celebrate it. And uh, also, we did make a year. Yes. Back in August. We, we had made the a year. for a year, uh, about a, almost a year and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's been amazing to have this experience with you. So I do want to say that to you. Um, just thinking that it's only been one year and we have had such incredible success. And, and of course, the success is evident because of, like, the number of people who, yeah. like, actually follow us and engage with us. But it's past the number. We just are genuinely successful. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't have imagined this right here. When we first started, I was like, okay, God, I know you're going to move. I know you're going to do something. I like this. But this right here... This is wild. It is. It is. I'm 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 super thankful. I'm thankful too because I say all the time like I literally get to impact people. Yeah. I get to minister to people. Yeah. And all of that in just me talking to my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm just talking to my friend and there's cameras here and from that, yeah. we get an opportunity to do all of the amazing things yeah. that we get to do. To me that's amazing. Yeah. And we share Christ. More than anything. This is ministry. Yeah. This is not the ministry that I thought I was going to be in. Me 100%. Either. I just knew me ministering or what that was going to look like, that was going to be behind the pulpit. Yeah. I knew that 100%. <laughs> Travel the world. Preaching the gospel. Yeah. We preach the gospel all right. We travel the world all right. 
But this is something on the else. couch talking to my friend, baby. Like, and he put it in a way to where there was a a sense of ease. Yeah, you know, like <clears throat> it's not it's not hard. It's yeah. not hard work yeah. sitting and talking to my friend. So yeah. having that have such an impact on people and people be yeah. so blessed by it. I don't, I'm just always in awe by that. But I, I do believe that the Lord had to cultivate our relationship first. For sure. Like, this could have gone another way, or this could have been something totally different. But we could have just come to do this just as people who knew each other. True. Mm-hmm. And you had a show before, and mm-hmm. it was successful in its own right for mm-hmm. that time. And I believe it gave you an opportunity to be behind a mic and, and find your voice the more. Mm-hmm. And then now, years later, here you go again and got to revamp that whole thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's really awesome. It is. And I just think about, like, the plan of God. And I think that's one of the big things for me this year. Mm-hmm. It's just you never know what the plan of God is. Right. And every part in your life. It plays a role. Yeah. So everything that I did in the past led me here. I didn't know at the time when everything was happening, even just like the dating stories and yeah. stuff that have really like <laughs> impacted people. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. when I was going through it that it would serve a bigger purpose. But the plan of God Maybe. to make all things yeah. work together. For your good. Don't get me started. That heartbreak was good. Come on. That loss of your job was good. Good. Because now I got a story to tell. Yeah. And a mic to tell it on. Ooh. All right. <laughs> okay. Let me get my triangle together because <laughs> this is this is this starting off a whole nother kind of way right now. Yeah, the plan of God. And it's so much bigger than what we can imagine. He said he'll do exceedingly yeah. abundantly above all. You can ask or think. Mm-hmm. I didn't think this. Couldn't think it. Yeah. In what realm? How? <laughs> Never would have thought. Because my thing was, like, our relationship is tight now, but it's like you were somebody that I knew in passing. Right, acquaintances. So what do you mean I'm about to do a show that's going to be global and be impactful and be, like, what? Never would have guessed. Never would have thunk. <laughs> Look so at you, us. You never know what the plan of God is. Yeah. So um, in this year, specifically 2023, yeah. what... Have you learned about yourself by way of the show? Ooh. I learned, well, I learned that my purpose continues. So, mm. like, this year, January 2023, I got um, out of the classroom, mm-hmm. started a new job. Um, and then we continued on with season two of the podcast, knowing that when we started, I, I told her, like, let's just do a couple months. Mm-hmm. We'll figure out what happened. <clears throat> I, think, I think I said six months. You did. You we'll did. figure out what happens. Let's just go from there. So seeing all of that play out from August to December, and that was like our first trial run and being like, oh, okay, I think we might really have something here. Yeah. And then changing jobs and then season two, uh, this taking off, it's like... The purpose of God just continues. And so I know that I'm called to teach. Right. And I always would confine that to teaching in the pulpit mm-hmm. and then teaching in the classroom. Mm-hmm. But to see him allow me to teach in my new career yeah, and now teach here on this platform, yeah. it's like, man, no, like when you are called to something, yeah, it can evolve, it can change, but it will always continue. Right. And I love that. I love that because I could not have imagined this. Yeah. So you so what you're saying is like life keeps going. It does. It does. It does. And you know, we talked about in Auntie's in Distress like that whole season where we were just kind of like going through the mental health challenges yeah. and all of the things and I couldn't see I I just could not see this. Yeah. You know, and so to watch him do it and um I have a new understanding of God will give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. Because he's given me some desires I didn't know I had. Right. I thought it was desires that you know you have. I desire this. I desire that. Yeah. Sometimes he'll give you stuff that you don't even know you desire, yeah. but you do. Because now that we're here, I want this to just go as as far as it could possibly go. Amen. That's good. Mm. Don't cry. I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this year, what I think I've learned in this is that I can do hard things and that I'm capable of more than what I thought I would. Come on. I told like, you. You did. Like, I, you really believed in me when I when I didn't know that I didn't believe in myself. Yeah. So, you know, shout out to us. Shout out to me. <laughs> I love that for you. Because I literally this year made a point to be like, no, friend, you do it. 
You did. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay, I'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. And I've been I doing want you the to thing. See that. You yeah, can, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's so funny because being a leader alongside another leader showed me some stuff. What you mean? So like, you know, a lot of times in life, people will put me in the leadership role. Yeah, and I'm perfectly fine with it. Yeah, but it's like. Being with you as a leader, like you make me want to be better. Oh, like you do. You're 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 such a visionary, like, Aww. and you really bring a lot of things to pass. And I love that about you. And I felt like my leadership skills had everything to do with getting things done. But like you develop things from the ground up. And so when I say like you make me want to be a le- better leader. You're showing me how to do things from the very beginning of things instead of just coming in and making sure things are delegated properly or coming in making sure that things are working the way that they should, you know? Yeah. So appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's great. And I'm just I'm just so proud of you. Mm-hmm. I'm so proud of you. Cause I feel like when I first met you, you would like shy away from doing the hard things. Yeah. You know, like, mm, I ain't really doing it. I don't yeah. know if that's gonna work. Or yeah, right. and so seeing you now be like, okay, I got this. Yeah, like, yes, <laughs> you yes, got friend, this. <laughs> yes, you do. You better go. Yeah, I yeah. love it. I love that for you. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't have pushed myself to do the things that I do if yeah. it wasn't for you. Yeah. So you were necessary. Give you a little life. gentle nudge. Gentle nudge, right? So is that what you call thrusting somebody? <laughs> is that what you call when you? I didn't thrust you. Oh. <laughs> Mm. No, I thought you were about to cry. Pick yeah. That, pick that back up. After this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I tried to be gentle with it, but I just no, you were. No, you could do it. Yeah, yeah, you did. And I think so, yeah, I knew what I I knew that I could do it, but like, okay, hear me for what I'm saying, okay? Yeah. I just a lot of the times when you would tell me to do things or ask me to do things or whatever way it needs to be said, I didn't want to let you down. <laughs> I really did it. So I tried to put my best foot forward and things. So so there were times when maybe I would drop the ball. I would feel so bad because and I'm I didn't like, want you to feel like that. But it wasn't you. I it's know, just I know. it's what I wanted to do for you. That's really you know what I mean? That's really interesting. I remember when I was teaching, um, the last school that I was teaching at before yeah. I got this job, um, when my partner teacher came in my room and she was like the kids don't act the same with you that they do with me. Yeah. And she was like, I was just so intrigued and interested. Like, how come they don't act like that in here? So I asked them one day, and the kids said they don't want to let you down. And I'm like, I mean, I don't I don't even know what it is. But when that... I say I didn't want to let you down, I just mean you cared so much for my success. Yeah. And it's like, or you bet on me. Yeah. And I didn't want to let that bet down. I'm like, you believed in me, so now I got to believe in myself. And then I don't want to let your, um, what is it called? Your investment go to waste. Mm, come on, I need my ROI. Yeah, I mean, I, I really feel like you've invested a lot in me. Oh, friend. And I just wanted to make sure that I gave you the ROI you were wanting and more. Mm. So, so there were times when I felt like I fell short of that. I was like, dang, let me recoup. <laughs> Let me get the bag flipping and tumbling, you know? That's so sweet. Yeah. Well, I hope that it was always, I hope that you would know, like, I'm not ever disappointed in you. Yeah. Like, I just love that you try. I love yeah. that you're working on things. You're very, you're probably the most cognizant person I know. Like, you're just very aware of what you're doing, what you're working on, your emotions, your thoughts. Yeah. Like, And it's been very refreshing just knowing somebody who's that cognizant. You know what I mean? Because most people are just drifting through life. Like, let's right. be real. Like, right. you're just going through the motions. You're trying to get through the days. And you're just so aware. And so mm-hmm. I, <laughs> I know in a lot of ways. <laughs> doesn't work in your favor. Taxing. <laughs> Very taxing. I'm tired. But in, in regards to, like, friendship, in regards to business, it's yeah. it's refreshing. Amen. You're, uh-huh. you're present. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's not present. Yeah. And baby, it was a work in progress. Cause you know I me, mean? when we first started this, I, again, I'm thinking you tell my six months, I'm like, okay, well, what if we run out of things? And what about this? And what about that? Yeah. You're like, baby, <laughs> dial it back, honey. Okay, at a time. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah. But I think yeah, you definitely helped me do that. Well, so what has been like the toughest lesson you had to learn this year? 
The toughest lesson that I had to learn was that I do shy away from the hard things. Mm. Um, and just, but really taking that in. Cause it's one thing to like kind of halfway know something, but then just really realizing like I haven't put in the work in a lot of areas because it was just going to be too difficult or it's going to, or what I seem to be too difficult. One whole time when I realized the things that I had um, been putting off, it wasn't hard to do those things. Yeah, It's just, I didn't put in, I didn't want to put in the effort. Like I was being lazy. Mm. And like the realization of being lazy. Don't feel good. It doesn't. It's like, oh, you were being lazy. It's like, ah, ugh. Mm -hmm. But now that I know, I can, you know, walk in a 2024. You're like, I'm not going to be lazy as much. <laughs> but be realistic. A little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I think the toughest thing for me, um, okay, so when we started the podcast, of course, yeah. everything was like fresh and new and people were excited about it. People mm -hmm. like in my life were excited yeah. about it. And so even though I had already experienced this with like writing books and like, putting on events with my nonprofit and all that stuff, it still just kind of came up again for me that like a lot of the people that were closest to me weren't as supportive Ooh. of the podcast yeah. and the success and stuff as I thought that they would be. Yeah. And so there have been like a couple of different situations with people where we're just more distant because I feel like the podcast is skyrocketing. Right. And I just expected more from them. I can 100% agree and echo that sentiment. I, that was a lot for me to take in because I haven't, in my mind, I hadn't done anything like this before. And not getting that like response of excitement or being like, shoot, just as fast as we record the episode, you're watching it or you're listening to it. Like the very closest people to me, like it taking them a while to even like um, come up to watching it or listening. I was like. What? What do you mean? You're not like gung ho or like the first person to mm -hmm. watch the episode every week. That was that was a tough pill to swallow. Yeah, that was tough for me. Or like certain episodes, people not listening anymore after we talked about certain things. That was hard. Yeah, yeah. I think I like I said I had been through it, but this just kind of like reopened the wound, especially because yeah. this is the most successful thing I've ever done. Yeah, and I Amen. think that. Because I'm a doer and, like, I accomplished a lot early on, I think people kind of just got used to me doing stuff. Yeah. You know, they just got really familiar. Yeah. And so and I, I just expected more, and I think they're kind of just like, oh, it's just another thing he is doing. He always does stuff. And I was just like, no, this is, like, my thing, and I yeah. really want you to yeah do something. It was, I think, so for me, it was the flip side of that. I felt like I didn't do mm. things. So when I finally did this, because I feel like one of the last things that I accomplished was, like, graduating college mm. and that was x amount of years ago mm -hmm. so for me I in in my mind I had no my book my first book okay yeah I'm saying like I'll put a second one out <laughs> <laughs> you will yeah, amen come on um all right holy ghost <laughs> right um just the success of this like you said I just felt like I hadn't accomplished anything and then finally when I am doing something and it's incredibly successful like not hearing those kudos or getting those pats on the back or again not them not rushing to be like man this episode was good yeah. and I didn't realize how much I was looking for that. I yeah. didn't realize that was a, exactly. that was an unspoken so expectation. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So it was for me it was the fact that I felt like I hadn't done anything now that I am doing something it's like mm, people yeah. ain't going to say nothing. Yeah. It's like okay, like okay, Sham. Good job. Yeah. Well, like, speaking of the success of the podcast, have you fully taken it in, how successful the podcast is? I think I take it in more when we're out and about and somebody's like, are you the aunties? Yeah. Or are you auntie? I'd be like, who sent you? <laughs> Am I being pranked? <laughs> uh, that, so for, for me, it's those times. Because, like, social media is social media. Because mm -hmm. we people say amazing things to us all the time. But, like, the real life aspect of it, like, it's not an online thing anymore that's when I take it in the most. Yeah, that I don't think you... I guess maybe celebrities do get used to it. At the moment, I'm not used to it. Yeah, not at all. Like, oh, hey. Yeah, girl, that's... that's and they be so excited, and I'm yeah. just like... I want to say it's just me, but we have to change our thinking. Right. We're not just us. You're not. Like I've said before, like to, to somebody, you are just Nia. But to somebody else, you are somebody. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I think it's important to know. I, we actually got one of those questions on Ask the Aunties, and we didn't get a chance to answer it, so they don't even know. But somebody asked us, how do we deal with doing different things and expecting certain family members or close friends to celebrate you, and they don't? Like, how do you deal with that? Uh, I think you just have to, I think you have to celebrate yourself. Right. And I've had to work on that for the mm-hmm. longest, again, because I accomplished a lot early on, and I was always... Um, very goal driven, yeah, and just like I want to be the best of the best in everything from school to sports to whatever. Um, I got a lot of backlash, mm-hmm. I'll say, and I wasn't like a haughty person, but I mm-hmm. think people would always be like, oh, she thinks she's the best yeah. at everything, and I wanted to be the best at right. everything, but I didn't want people to view me negatively, mm-hmm. so I didn't celebrate myself, right? I mean, I still did my stuff, mm-hmm. but I never would talk about it, even now, talking about the podcast. It's difficult. Well, it's difficult to put it in terms yeah. of I have a, like, podcast for real. Like, people yeah. have podcasts. Yeah. We have yeah. a podcast. For real. Like, it's successful. Yeah. And so when people now, I've gotten just, I meant to screenshot and send it to you. I got two DMs from people talking about, you famous now. <laughs> what, like, you, what you mean now? People ask, well, <laughs> how, how does it feel to be famous? And how do you feel about this? And then I was just talking to a coworker and telling her about the podcast. And she was like, oh, so you famous. And I'm like, this word famous is just, <laughs> I, I can't, it, yeah. I can't wrap my mind yeah. around it. So it's, it's difficult. But I think once you get to the point where you celebrate yourself, yeah. you won't be looking so much for other people to celebrate you. Right. But it is nice when they do, though. Especially the people that are closer to that are closest to you. Yeah, for sure. Because it means so much when my because a lot of them have come around. Like a lot of people have come around to like start to listen, or they'll call me and they will be excited now. And I'm not gonna front. I really was looking for it more in the beginning, and it's still dope now. Like it is. I just think that I prepared myself enough to where, um, or like I just developed enough tough skin to where it's like, okay, well, I mean, if you never said nothing, I was just going, you know, get over it. But like, now when I say something, I'll be like, you, you listen? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it make you feel good? Yeah, it's like, I know. thank you. I know, that's how yeah. I feel. Like, thank you for listening. Yeah. It actually means something. No, it does. It doesn't fall by the wayside. It's just like, oh, okay. I didn't know you were listening. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So what has been, have there have there been any, like, bad things to come out of the podcast or this year? I would think the only bad thing that came out of the podcast, and it was affecting me for a little while. I'm not even going to front. Like, as much as I know, I'm a bad man majama, you know. <laughs> I'm a brick house. Hello. A lot of people call me a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> not a warehouse. <laughs> no, because, like, now listen. I, I do modeling on the side. And am I categorized as a plus size model? Yes, I am. However, comma. Mm-hmm. It's just like a lot of people were calling me like names and things. And I was not used to that. Especially so unprovoked. And then having to realize that because this is a brand, I can't respond how Shamarian wants to respond, like in in my flesh. Mm-hmm. And in the beginning, I was definitely responding in my flesh. Like, I'm about to talk about everybody. Nobody's off limits at all. And that's why your grandma uh, got it, one eye. Okay. <laughs> they call her Cyclops. <laughs> you know, like, girl. But see, but I'd be wrong if I said something back <laughs> because you want me to be so mature. <laughs> Boop. Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. So I so that would that would be the biggest thing. It was just like just getting used to like the name calling and having to develop tough skin because or let me I want to say this properly. I am a lover. Of black people. Mm-hmm. I'm a lover of our culture. Yes. I love being a black woman. Yeah. I love our black men. Mm-hmm. And that could take a lot of criticism from a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But it just hit hard when it was from black men. Mm-hmm. But again, I love them. It's no love lost. It's just, it's it stings when it comes from your own community when I know I wasn't saying anything out of line. It's just, it w- even if, it just wasn't necessary. It wasn't. Like, it's uh, never necessary. It's, we've never said anything malicious um, about men. Anybody. Or, I mean, you know, anybody, but specifically men, because it, it's, it's, it's them. Because I love them mm-hmm. to a certain degree. <laughs> 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 but it's, that was a lot. That was a lot for me to get over. That's a good one. That's a good one. Well, what, what about you? Um, I don't think anything, I don't think anything 
negative has come out of it, I'd had to make that adjustment too. Yeah. Um, because even though I had my own little platform situation, being in this was just different. Yeah. And so the biggest thing I had to learn though is that I didn't need to defend myself. Mm. Cause at first, of course, you know, you and I both yeah. will take turns responding back. Cool. Cause you got the right ones. And do. And then now I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't, even if I do say something, it's in general. Like somebody was saying like some super crazy yeah. stuff about us and it was the way we looked. And so I just responded and was like, I hope that made you feel good. Yeah. I mean, if that's what you're looking for, there's these two women on social media and you right. just really feel the need to tell them that they're fat and ugly and they're going to be single forever. I hope that that made you feel good. Wait, hold on. Why? But you know what? We didn't get a chance to talk about that. And why single is a... Uh, yes. Uh, why is that an insult? An insult, yeah. You're going to be single forever. People, And they say it a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. At the same time, would then tell you that they would call you all kind of names for chasing after men. Right. Uh, right. You know, but right. I don't know. I don't know. Why is that an insult? I don't know. They say it a whole lot. And then it's like from people that would never even have a chance with us in the first place. That's what's that blows my mind every time. Sir, you talking about uh, that you would never want me. Baby, the feeling is mutual. I echo the sentiment. <laughs> Nobody wants everybody. Right. So, I mean, well, I hope you get what you want. Yeah. That's all that matters. It's, uh, baby, I pray that you get what you deserve. Yeah. And you don't miss a beat in that. Yeah. But we've gotten to the point, and I love our community of nieces and nephews and unks and fellow aunties who they jump on it. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, baby, we don't have to say a word. Y'all are on it. You Sometimes we may have to tell y'all, okay, <laughs> you can chill now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't need to defend yourself, especially when you're walking in your purpose. Hey, I was just telling my mom because she was asking me, like, does this affect you? Like, how do you feel? Because I let her read some of the comments on that mm -hmm. video that's going viral on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I sent the, the real term, like, read these comments. And she was like, oh, my gosh, that's wild. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe that they said that. And so um, she was like, well, how does that make you feel? Like, right. does it affect you in any way? And I was like, no, I don't need to defend myself. That's not our audience. Right. I'm sorry that Facebook and Instagram and TikTok showed you are real. Yeah. You're not our audience. Right. Talk to them about it. Yeah. But no, because they keyboard thugs anyways. <laughs> Baby. You listen. would never say it to our face. Never. Never. As a matter of fact, you would be scared to say anything at all. You wouldn't even be able to say hi. Stuttering. Please. Blubbering. Thank you. Knees quaking. Hmm. All right. Anyway, that's enough about them. Yeah. But I think overall, I would categorize this this year, this season as extremely successful. Yeah. And wildly. I'm wildly successful. And I'm super grateful for our followers, for everybody that shares, everybody yes. that comments, all the encouragement they send. Every mm -hmm. time I read a comment that, oh, man, you guys, um, this really impacted me. This hit me right when I needed it. This is what I was looking for. Yeah. I feel so seen. I feel so heard. Yeah. It just really does something for me. Like, yeah. we're really doing this, friend. Yeah. And it's really making a difference. That's it. We, and the thing is, we're not talking about nothing crazy. Like, we we have good quality content. And we were discouraged at first. I don't know if you remember, we had a conversation. We were talking about how all these people have podcasts, not talking about nothing, and they were so yeah. successful. Yeah. And we are like, man, we're talking about things that need to be talked about, and we only have this amount of followers, and we really... And then it just took off. Yeah. Like, I was like, hold tight. Hold what you got. Hold what you got. Yeah. I got this, and he did it. Amen. God is our publicist. He's an amazing publicist. Laura, shout out to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. You are faithful. You are kind. Okay, hold on. <laughs> You're about to slip off. <laughs> Come on back. Babe, you're about to turn this into a whole worship <laughs> session. Everybody lift your You see my eyes? <laughs> Lord, I thank you. Ooh. When it's in you, it's in you. I'm about to go in. No. It's about to be me and him. But we thank God. No, for, yeah. for real, for real, for real. Yeah. For real. We thank God. We got to acknowledge him. I just, my mind is blown. I wish I had words to fully express how I feel about this year, about you, about this show, about everything. Yeah. But I think the biggest life lesson is uh, if God is betting on you, believe him. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm Because, I mean, if he would have told me to do this by myself, friend, I don't know if it would have got off the ground. Who you telling? Shoot. 
You were asking me about stepping out on faith, baby. I ain't had to. Mm-hmm. This was, I was sure about this. God did it. Yeah. I celebrate God. I celebrate your favorite aunties. I celebrate all of our listeners. Yeah. Like, it's just amazing. And I'm looking forward to 2024. Right. It's up. Shout out to everybody who um who just loves on us. We love y'all. Yes. We appreciate y'all so much. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, I don't want to rap. Well, we have to. I know. <laughs> but I just, it's just like, yes, this is the end of season three. And we're coming back for season four. We're coming back for season four. It's just... In just a little while. In just a little while. Okay. It's not going to be long at all. Okay. Well, I love you guys. (laughs) Don't make... This is a celebration. It is. I just want to hug them. We will in 2024. In 2024, you guys, make sure you please send us your email addresses. Y'all make sure when we start posting the stuff that we're doing... Y'all got to come out. And show out. For real. Like, okay. we are really trying to plan some great stuff. Yeah. So that we can really get out here and meet our audience. So y'all got to right. come. Don't forget to shoot us uh, your emails in our actual email. Like, go ahead and actually email us. Mm-hmm. The email is yfaunteespodcast at gmail.com. And also, just DM us on Instagram your um, email address. address. So that you can be the first to know when tickets go on sale, things are happening. We got some stuff going on. I'm telling y'all, look, y'all want to miss it. Don't Auntie, we didn't tell tell you. Tell us. Say we didn't tell y'all you. Y'all say it because we told y'all. Listen, we love y'all so much. This is the end of season three, but not the end of us. Hello. We know that. Hello. Amen. Greater is coming. Gre- <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we won't see you next week, but <laughs> we will see you in season four. Of your your favorite favorite aunties podcast. Bye.